What's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I feel like running my mouth just for a little bit. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was Miss Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. You know, this is a, ooh, this is a thing, right? You know, Jennifer Lopez and um, A. Rod are no longer together. Um, the relationship is over. Of course, the engagement is over if the relationship is over. But you know, she was engaged to A. Rod with his fine hair that they know he fine. Um, but the relationship is off. They say that allegedly that Jennifer Lopez has been spotted with Ben Affleck. You know, Ben Affleck is her, I think her ex-fiance also. One thing about Jennifer, let me just say something, y'all. Y'all do know this. Y'all do know that it's okay to be alone. Like, it's okay to be single. It's okay to take time, um, to, you know, be by yourself between relationships one thing that I have noticed about Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez, I don't give a damn what nobody say. I think Jennifer Lopez should be in therapy. Every time we look up, Jennifer Lopez is in a relationship. Like, girl, she clearly has a problem with being alone. And I don't think there's a problem with people who like to be in relationships, but I do think there's a tad bit of a problem when you bounce from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. And you're really not taking any time to just, kind of be by yourself. And then with Jennifer being a woman of a particular age, it's kind of like, girl, you going back to old, expired me. Like, girl, it ain't like you like hopping on like, you know, trying to, like, girl, clearly whatever, I, I'm sorry. If it didn't work out the first time, it's probably not gonna work out the second time. I know there may be a story or two where people could say, well, it didn't work out the first time with my ex, but the second go around, it can't, we, you know, we doing good. I think Jennifer Lopez needs to be by herself. Jennifer Lopez, it's okay. Girl, it's okay. Girl, Jenny from the block, girl, Jenny going around the block. Girl, sit your ass down. Sit down, Jennifer. Um, Mariah Carey. Some of the girls are pissed off at Mariah Carey because there is this, I don't know if it's a, a, a rap group or if he's just a solo artist named YTK. He did a song um, called Let It Off. And it's basically a sample from Mariah Carey, Shake It Off. And he didn't get the song cleared. And <laughs> somebody put online based like Mariah has basically 24 hours to respond to the song, you know? And Mariah responded, girl, you got 24 hours to respond to my lawyers. A lot of people were giving Mariah flack because they felt as though she was being unfair. Um, she should just basically let this guy, um, you know, don't mess with this guy in the song. No, he did not get it approved. No, you know, you did not clear it. No, he did not ask you all of the above. However, like, this is an up-and-coming artist, so you should just let him have this one. I'm sorry. I might be a bitch, <laughs> but I think there's a reason why you have to go through the proper channels whenever you want to use someone's intellectual property, basically right? Or use something that they created, right? It's a reason why in college or even high school, middle school, you have to have a work cited page when you're using somebody else's work because you got to give credit to that person because this ain't your work. <laughs> I'm just citing where I got this from. This is, this, this is her work, but I'm going to use it though. But I'm going to let you know, Mr. Smith, that even though I'm putting this in my paper, that these, this is, this is not mine, right? I think that while it may be true that it may be a good song, the song was all right to me, but it may be a good song. I think that you could just, I don't think you can go around here just taking someone's stuff and think that because, oh, you're up and coming, that they're just supposed to give you a pass. Like, maybe if he would have went through the proper channel, to get the song cleared, which probably would have been a no from the get go. We wouldn't even be in this position. So you, you went and made this song without 
without it being clear, made a video to this song. So you're spending money clearly, right? And now because Mariah Carey really doesn't need the money or because she should just be nice, she just she should just say, oh yeah, it's okay. I don't know y'all. I, I think I'm with Mariah. I don't think that there's anything wrong with Mariah saying, take my shit down. You didn't even, you didn't ask me, can you use my shit? You didn't send me no email. You didn't send me no text message. Didn't nobody come knock on my door. Girl, you ain't send no smoke signal. Girl, you ain't stop me at the red light. Girl, you ain't stop me at the convenience store. Girl, you didn't, you didn't stop me when you saw me in Walgreens. Girl, you ain't said nothing, asked nothing, said nothing. Sorry. Anyways, so let's talk about Lil Uzi. Y'all know I call him Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi Vert. What's his name? Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi Vert and JT. So Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi. I call him Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi and JT are on the cover of an uh, of, of a magazine. The pictures are already leaked. I don't think the magazine has come out yet, but the pictures are already leaked. It was really supposed to be a, a magazine for Lil Uzi, but he wanted to include JT. We talked about Lil Uzi and JT and um, Young Miami a couple of weeks ago. Because I think something was going on between JT, I mean Young Miami and Lil Oh yeah! We did! We did! Remember when um, Lil Uzi was low key checking Young Miami on live, and then her baby daddy found out. And girl, they was going back. And, it was just a back and forth. Well, not a back and forth, but he got online basically saying that he would beat he would beat his ass. You, you remember? That's when we talked about it. Let me say something about Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi and JT. I don't keep up with them like that. I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. However, I will say this much. I think that JT, even though I, every time I look up, she online defending something or going off, girl, let it go. Like one thing I do, one thing that will drive me up a wall is when I see a woman online defending a man. Like, for example, not defending a man, but for example, if you're in a relationship and you online going back and forth with an ex, Girl, why are you going back and forth with an ex? You see what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't even be online worried about having to check an ex. Because quiet as it's kept, he should have got in contact with his ex and was like, hey, don't mention nothing about my girl. Don't mention nothing about me. But the simple fact that I've seen JT online going back and forth with an ex-girlfriend. And let's just be clear about this. Now I'm about to go on a whole rant. Let's just be clear about this. I know a lot of people do this. I know a lot of women do this. Girl, you don't know what was going on between your new man and her old man. The same way this nigga got pillow or half pillow talk with you, he had it with her too. So please stop thinking that just because this nigga told you something, you know the whole story. Because it's a good chance that if you hear her side of the story, it's going to be different. And it's a good chance that she probably telling the truth over this nigga. So I think that's one thing that get on my nerve, nerve about JT. But I will say this much about JT and Lil Uzi. Is I think that JT... I think that y'all should let this go about what a woman or who a woman should date. For example, we know that Lil Uzi is flamboyant. We know he likes to carry purses. And I think he wears nail polish. I think I'm not for sure. But he he's not the typical, like rapper. You know, some of the new rappers, girl, it's, it's a new it's a new thing going on, girl. You know, so he's not like the old school rapper, right? How they appeared anyways. I think that is I think that if like if JT was with a future or uh, if JT was with a TI and I was got a bitch halfway in prison, right? Then I think that everybody would be be going up for it. If JT was with a man who had nine baby mamas and she was pregnant. Y'all need to leave her alone. She in love. They having a baby. Y'all like that ghetto ass shit, right? But because she's with a man who doesn't fit into this box of what you think a man should look like or behave, it's, oh my God, why is she with him? They don't even look right together. So who she look right with? Future? <laughs> she should be a baby mama? 
or should she be or should she be playing stepmama to somebody else's baby? I think it's actually cute that JT is dating someone that most people probably wouldn't peg her to date. I think it's cute that you have this hood ass bitch who date a nigga who wear a purse. I think it's cute. Now we can get into the ins and outs of whatever going on, like with her arguing with the with the with the ex girlfriend. But just from a oh, I think a lot of people expect her or expected her to be dating. That that don't mean that her little Uzi can't break up tomorrow. She can go get with a a hood nigga. But I think that it's cute. I think it's cute. Um, girl, that was fast. Girl, that's it. Girl, I got through that. All right, girl. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.